Check it out, this is the 4MS Topographic Delay. This is a great module, and even though I think the layout can be a little intimidating, just know that this is a very capable multi-tap delay with a little twist, so let's check it out. Off the top, the topographic delay was a little tougher for me to understand, just on the surface. I could tell you that just from fiddling around with the knobs and buttons, it was really capable of incredible sounds, but like many modules, I had to ask, where does it fit into my setup? The twist is the velocity sensitive sensor allows you to tap in or record your own arrangements of delays. That's cool, since sometimes you're thinking of the specific rhythm for the delay, and this will do it for you. After using it for a little while, I can without a doubt say that the topographic delay module may be the only delay module you might need in your system. From clock syncable delays to creatively wild multi-taps that just go on and on, you can make super ambient soundscapes with it. The getting started, your first patch section of the manual, totally saved me. So check that out when you're diving in. Trust me, you will thank me later. The text on the top of the module may seem strange at first glance, but the top grid is so much more intuitive once you see it in a horizontal way. Changing the mode, your pan type, the bank you want to save your taps in, the velocity of delays, it's really easy. Pressing and holding the button below the black titling and pressing the corresponding horizontal values button is how it's done. You've got familiar controls such as time, feedback, modulation, dry, wet, blend, all par for the delay course. Stereo outputs and external clock input make this a really well-rounded module for more of a straightforward, syncable delay. Now I know what you're gonna ask. You're gonna say, Noir, you just said that the topographic delay is the only delay module you need, but you have the analog replicator and the magneto. What's the deal? Well, the Tapo is very different and brings something unique to the table. I, of course, love the pure sounds of the replicator's analog BBDs and the shift and spring reverb of the magneto, but the Tapo, though, would be great for someone with no effects yet, and they want a delay that will grow with them over many years. Do not let the topographic delay intimidate you. It is more than meets the eye, and I can't imagine not having something this useful. It has the ability to go from Swiss Army Knife effect to truly inspiring performance module. There are a lot of delays on the market, and many are exactly the same with different faceplates, but there's really nothing like having the 4MS delay like this on tap. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.